Welcome back. A congressional bill known as Trevor's Law was first introduced as a co-sponsored bipartisan bill by Idaho Senator Mike Crapo and California's Barbara Boxer back in January of 2011. It was named for a local brain cancer survivor, Trevor Schaefer, who grew up in Valley County and believes his cancer was environmentally based. Trevor's Law is designed to help improve the evaluation of potential cancer clusters, whether on land or in water or all around the country. Also, provide resources for communities to predict and ultimately eliminate any dangerous areas. Two-time cancer survivor, Senator Mike Crapo. These efforts, like Trevor's Law, which will help us be much more effective at identifying the existence of and then the cause of cancer clusters around the country, are going to give us a, a big boost forward in helping to fight this you know, really difficult disease. And alongside with us today is Trevor Schaefer. And first, a quick update. The bill recently passed the full Senate. It's now been attached to the Toxic Substances Control Act, which is on schedule to move through the House. They are debating that right now. It's a big step. And I was thinking about this after five years of ups and downs, and actually seven when you first took it to Senator Crapo. Are you finally starting to see a little light? Yeah, absolutely. It has been a very long road. And at, at certain points uh, during that, I kind of wondered if anything was going to happen and come from this. But, um, get, you know, getting that news a couple months ago um, that there is finally some very positive movement on the bill was uh, very encouraging and, and kind of re-motivated us to, to continue to fight. What do you think was it that brought it home, at least in the Senate? Well, I think it was just pounding the pavement for so many years, kind of trying to um, and still in, the, in those senators who really didn't understand or didn't get it um, time and time again uh, what these kids go through and reminding them you know every every week every day every year of what they went through and I think finally it just hit home. You saw in the video and we're showing it right now of you back in 2012 I believe it was in front of the congressional committee and you spent some time back there in Washington alongside Aaron Brockovich who as we know the cancer activist as well you've now made this your life's mission you and your mother Charlie Smith with the Children's Cancer Pavilion at Julia Davis Park the book about your life boy on the lake based on your life growing up in McCall and now with Trevor's Law what's going to be the end game for you well the, the goal is, is to live in a world where we do not have cancer anymore. And I think we're getting there. We're a lot closer than we were uh, 10 years ago. We're a lot closer than we were five years ago, than yesterday. Um, we're gaining a lot of momentum and hopefully you know, we can get there. And I think this bill, passing the Senate and hopefully passing the House in the next couple weeks, is a huge step towards that end game. And one of the big arguments you made, one of the big arguments Senator Boxer and Crapo made, when, when the other side said, hey, looking for these cancer clusters is like a witch hunt. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. Why should we be using federal dollars to try to find something that may not be there? But you came back with a pretty, pretty impressive counter argument. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think it's pretty obvious that when you have um, the statistics speak for themselves. When you have uh, a certain amount of children in an area that are diagnosed with cancer, you can see those dots on the map. And it's very obvious that if it's higher than um, what's expected for that mm -hmm. geographical area, then it's obvious that there could be something contributing to those cancers. Senator Crapo could not give me a timeline on when this bill is expected to make it out of the House, but I want to read you a quote. He said, it is now on the engine that I believe that will pull it through, and that's got to put a smile on your face right there. It does, absolutely. Uh, we, like I said before, we've made a lot of headway, and, and Senator Crapo put it very well. It, it is on the engine now, and I think in light of what we're seeing um, with the Flint, Michigan water contamination, mm -hmm. um, and which is really a watershed moment um, in, in history, and an example of why we need this legislation, uh, I'm, I'm also talking to some reporters in Johnson County, Indiana, mm -hmm. where there's a childhood cancer cluster there as well, which they suspect the water. So all these um, different pockets are popping up, and it's just more evidence as to why we need Tosca and Trevor's Law. Keep fighting the good fight, my friend.